So this is saying goodbye to people part two. Okay. So in part one, I talked about um, loved ones, friends, or people in your life that are really holding your back. They don't support your journey at all. They're actually criticizing you for it. Those are the kind of people that I don't care who they are. I don't care if they're your family members. It's time to say goodbye. And the more you elevate, if they loved you, they'll, they'll want to keep you in their life, but not in a dysfunctional way. They'll want to do it by healing and elevating themselves. That's one category of people. And those are the people you need to just say goodbye to. They might come back around. You might have them in your life later. It doesn't matter if you do or not. All of this is done with love. Remember that. So there's another group of people, though, where you've kind of evolved out of them. They're, they're a lot less conscious. They don't, you know, hanging out with them is kind of a chore because it drains your energy. The conversations they like to have, what they like to talk about, what they like to do, even how they spend their time is like nothing you do anymore because you realize a lot of it is toxic or unhealthy or it's a little bit dysfunctional or it's a little, you know, whatever. And yet it's that middle ground of, but what do I do about those people? I don't want to be unloving to them. I'm not judging them. I'm not in a place of judgment, which is beautiful. You shouldn't be judging anybody ever. Heal that within yourself if you catch yourself doing it. However, that's the trickier part. There's definitely a phase that people go through where there's sort of this, you know, transitionary period of people in their lives where they still have like old friends or loved ones that are not on a path of awakening. They're not on a journey of becoming more conscious necessarily, or maybe they kind of are, but they're really far behind. Like they're in elementary school and you're in college in this analogy. It cannot be, think about this. If you're in college, do you want to spend all of your time hanging out with elementary school kids? Of course not. It's boring. It's like what you want to do to play and have fun is not what I want to do to play and have fun. Like, you know, we're, we're in different grades. So I want you to remember that. Now, can it be very loving? Can it be very enlightening to spend time with elementary school kids, your cousins, family, your friends, kids or something? Sometimes it can be wonderful sometimes. It is also a way for you to actually elevate higher. Why? Because I don't really want to do this. I don't really want to be here with you. It isn't personal. It's not a judgment. You're not judging them and labeling them as inferior. But it isn't fun to hang out with like little kids when you're in college. Stick with my analogy here. So what my invitation for you is, anybody who's experiencing this, are you obligated to hang out with these people all of the time, frequently, of course not, and you shouldn't. That isn't good for your energy. That isn't the way of loyalty for your energy, for what you need to thrive and be healthy mentally, emotionally, spiritually, etc. Okay. However, is it a beautiful thing to do to spend time with those people and interact? Sometimes, absolutely. It can also be a way to elevate higher. How? Because you can become the way of patience. You can become the way of surrender with them. You can elevate into the way of presence with them when I don't really want to be here. I don't want to be talking about this shit. And yet, look at that. I can shift into the way of presence right here, right now with these people. I can shift into unconditional love with them. I can become a more elevated being by being around people that I, it's not personal, but I don't really want to do this anymore. I don't want to hang out with anymore. This just isn't my thing anymore. We don't have anything in common anymore. Oh, look at that. And yet, if I show up in the vibrational frequency as the way of presence for them, it is a gift to everybody in the room. I can show them vibrationally what the way of presence is without ever talking about it or saying a word. I can become the way of surrender, the way of patience for them. I can become the way of harmlessness and gentleness with them, which means I'm never judging them, even though they're in elementary school and college. You see it? That is an invitation to actually become more elevated. The way of loyalty to your divinity, to your health, to your peace of mind is how little or how much you're going to do that. And that is going to be unique to every person listening. So use it as a way to elevate what a gift you are when you can show up 
for somebody with patience, with presence, with compassion, with the way of connection, you're connecting to them from your divinity. Love, no strings attached. There's no egoic attachment here. There's no expectation here. Oh, what a gift. So become the ways of oneness in this scenario. Become the ways of oneness and let them experience energetically what that means. And then if they ever say anything, do you want to learn more? Invite them to come learn and elevate and heal and become this as well. And if not, that's okay too. Become the ways. It's an energetic frequency that you can then offer other people. Just become the ways. And if you don't yet know how to do that, at least start by reading the book, get it on Amazon, The 20 Universal Ways of Oneness. Become that for the people that you care about. They deserve it, and you deserve to become more elevated too. This is oneness consciousness. Everybody benefits when you function as a being of oneness consciousness.